What's up, party people? Florida. It's a constant source of entertainment, whether if it's the birthing place for NASCAR or the over-the-top mini golf courses they have. But in my opinion, the most iconic thing about Florida are the people that live there, AKA Florida man and Florida woman. So I thought it'd be fun today if we did a tier list of the craziest stories and headlines from Florida man. And we'll see what comes out on top. Okay, first off, we're coming at you with a classic here. Florida man chews off another man's face. This is the OG right here. This was my gateway drug into Florida man content. I legit remember when this story first came out and people were losing their minds that the zombie apocalypse was happening. Spoiler alert, it didn't happen. And don't worry, the guy who got his face partially eaten is fine now, so he's doing okay. Okay, and with such an iconic story, it's going in S tier. You know, we're setting the bar really high here. I need iconic Florida man here to hit S tier. Also, when I was looking up zombie stuff, I saw this little guy here and I thought, wow, that's the most Florida man zombie out there. So that's why I picked him. You know, he's got a little duck here. <laughs> All right, next we have Florida man desperate for ride to Hooters calls 911. Dude, this happened in 2017. Ubers were a thing in 2017. This guy called the cops and told him that his grandma had a stroke in the Hooters parking lot and that they had to pick him up so he could help. If your grandma is eating out of Hooters, like, never too old to eat some good wings, I guess. Instead of the first responders going to pick him up and dropping him off at the Hooters, they, you know, rightfully so, went to the Hooters to check to see if the grandma was there and didn't find her. So, and then this man told the dispatch that, you know, hey, I would pay you if you took me to this restaurant. Like, dude, come on, you didn't have a friend to ask or an Uber to call again. So I was curious to see where this Hooters was in correlation of where this all took place. And I have some bad news for this guy because the closest Hooters next to him actually closed. So that's a bummer. And then the next closest one is 30 minutes away. So hope you uh, saved up some money, bud, because uh, it's gonna cost you some. Okay, so while calling 911 to get to Hooters is pretty Florida man, I, mean, I can't deny that. I don't know if it's like iconic, iconic Florida man. So I'm gonna make this an A tier, because like S tier, it's just like you say the story and you already know that guy's from Florida. Where like this Hooters thing's like, it's close, it's close, but it's not, not S tier just yet. All right, next we have Florida man says syringes found in rectum are not his. Ooh, damn. I knew I misplaced mine somewhere. Oh, oh, I'm sorry cops, that's on me, those are mine. We sat next to each other at the train station and you know, he just sat next to me and whoop, got them all up and walked out, so that's on me. I know, I should really write this stuff down, but who has the time? So I wanna bag on this more, but honestly, like if you're in this situation and a cop is strip searching you and finds this, like I feel like the best thing you could do is just own up to it. Like, oh wow, look who's good at their job. Yeah, oh man. You, you look really good in that suit today, man. Like you should, you been working out? Yeah, wow, okay. So good job you found this. Well, let's just move on with their day and act like nothing happened, right? You don't wanna deal with that paperwork. <laughs> If you just straight up lie to the cops like this, they're gonna be insulted to think that you thought they were stupid enough to fall for this, you know? While I do think this is very Florida man-esque, I feel like this is also very just like prison-esque things. Like this probably wouldn't just happen in Florida, it just adds an extra funny layer that's in Florida. So I'm gonna make this a B tier right now. It's not, you know, it's good, it's good. I had a good time reading it, you know? Florida man arrested over I eat ass sticker. I hope no one takes that out of context. I mean, I definitely wouldn't be thrilled to see that sticker, especially if I had like kids in the car, but I feel like it's the same of putting like truck nuts on things. Also, why do people put truck nuts on cars? It's like the weirdest thing to gender. Like I don't put fucking truck nuts on my desk being like, no, I only fucking work on a male desk, no women desk for me. If I put truck nuts on some beds, would there be some people who are like, no, I only sleep on chick beds, no, no, Dude beds for me. If they have balls, I'm not sleeping on it. That makes me uncomfortable. Like what? What the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, right, the I eat ass sticker. Yeah, I definitely feel like the cop sort of overstepped his bounds here. Like you can't just arrest someone for this. And in the article it says the charges were dropped, which like, yeah, but I still don't really understand what the cop was thinking. 
Unless he actually thought this was another cannibalism zombie thing on his hands, like, oh no, this guy is literally eating ass. And in that scenario, the cop's assuming maybe this driver likes to eat donkeys. Who knows? You know that classic saying, don't ever assume because it makes an ass out of you and me. And I don't want to be eaten today. So I don't know, this is a Florida man thing, but I feel like it's more on the cops for, you know, arresting this guy for that sticker. So I'm gonna put this in B tier because I don't really think the Florida man did anything wrong. Like I wouldn't be thrilled about the sticker, but he didn't do anything wrong technically, so it's a B tier. Next up, we have Florida man fights off alligator that attacked his dog. I feel like that's a pretty standard headline. Like that one woman fought a bear for her dog. And like, you know, props to this guy for fighting an alligator. That's pretty hardcore. The dog's name is Loki also. Maybe this is all the origin story for alligator Loki. Like he bit the dog named Loki and it made him become the alligator Loki. And come on, it would make sense that alligator Loki is from Florida. I feel like this is a pretty tamed Florida man story in general. Like I'm really happy that the dog's good and everything. It's something I would expect every Florida man to sort of gone through in their life at least once, just fighting an alligator, not for the dog or anything. So I'm gonna put this in D category. Next up we have man in no seriously, I have drugs t-shirt charged with drug possession. Okay, hold on, it comes with a picture too. <laughs> wow. Dude, did he get like arrested out of Dave and Buster's or something? Look at this. And the shirt, oh my God, look at that shirt. Who needs drugs? No, seriously, I have drugs. <laughs> you know, this is the type of guy that McGruff, the crime dog, warned you about in preschool. Like, guys, there will be people that try and sell you drugs at Dave & Buster's. It just happens. All right, I I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty legendary. And when I say legendary, I mean like legendarily stupid. Do you think this guy had to come up with like an alias story of why he was in prison? He probably tells people like, yeah, you know that Buccaneers game? Yeah, I streaked there. Yeah, that's me. I'm really cool, okay? Oh, hold on a second. This guy was selling drugs at a Kmart? Dude. What? Go to the beach or something if you're gonna wear this shirt and try and sell drugs. Find an area where people will actually ask you about drugs. But a Kmart? I didn't even know Kmarts were still around. You know what, I bet he thought the K and Kmart stood for ketamine. So he was like, oh yeah, I'll go to Ketamine Mark where everyone sells drugs. Duh. So looking into this more, this guy had absolutely no chill where these two cops come into the store and he immediately tries to dip. He starts tweaking out a bit. He drops the bag of drugs on the ground and then the cops are noticing he's being weird. So they go up and they're like, yo, what were you doing there, bud? You got something interesting in there? And they got the bag and it had weed and meth in it. So, you know, the classics. But like, if you're gonna wear this type of shirt in public, you gotta have more chill than that. You can't just like, Freak out of the slightest thing. Okay, so while this is a great Florida man story, like I'm getting exactly what I wanted right now from Florida man content. I don't know if it's S tier though. Like the thing is S tier, it's just like everyone needs to know this like immediately. Like I'm gonna call my grandparents about this right now. I'll tell them about this crazy Florida man thing. And this is bordering on there, but it's not there yet. So it's, I'm gonna put an A tier. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but the icon I'm using for this story is a t-shirt that says no drugs, which is probably the shirt this guy should have worn. Okay, next up we have Florida man breaks into jail to hang out with his friends. I feel like this is something that would happen in a movie where like this guy's his friends are in a basketball game against the rival gang and they are telling him like, yeah, man, we really need you here. Like you're so tall and you're so good at basketball, but like if we lose, we all get shanked. So. We need you to get thrown in jail for us, okay? Just this once, that's it, that's all we're asking. Jesus, this guy rammed his car into the front door and then tried to scale the fence, but then got stuck in the barbed wire. Look at this, I have a picture too. Wow, a picture says a thousand words, doesn't it? Honestly, I just feel bad for this guy. Like he had literally no one else to go to except for all his friends who were in jail. He had two options here. One, make some new friends, or two, commit some crimes. And he picked commit some crimes. Like, let that sink in. Okay, I'm putting this in A tier. Like, this is a solid, solid Florida man story. It's not as good as the Hooters or the drug shirt one, but I don't think it's B tier, so it fits in A. Next up, we have gun owners in Florida plan to shoot down Hurricane Irma. 
Okay, no, I'm. this isn't real. Hold on. So after doing some minor checking, this was all just like a Facebook event that people said they were attending to and would shoot at Hurricane Irma. So it's the equivalent of saying you were going to the Area 51 raids. I feel like all these news outlets just dragged Florida man's name in the dirt on this one. Like this was all just clickbait. And you know what they always say about clickbait. Always hesitate when it comes to clickbait. Did I just make that up? Yes. Does it still apply? Yes. I will say, this led to a very funny tweet from the sheriff's department that said, do not shoot weapons at Irma. You won't make it turn around and it will have a very dangerous side effects. Like that people were actually thinking like, yeah, if I shoot at the hurricane, it's gonna run away. Okay, so I'm gonna put this pretty low. I think this is like really like clickbaity stuff that doesn't really say what was happening. I'm gonna put this in E tier because yeah, very, did not describe what happened. All right, next up we have Coast Guard rescues Florida man from unsuccessful bubble journey to Bermuda. Dude, look at this stuff. This guy put some work into this. Like this is the next level of those hamster balls that you can like ride around in and pools and stuff. This bubble had 36 buoys connected to it, equipped with a life vest that contained a water filter, a GPS tracker, and shark repellent. Damn, dude. Also, what is shark repellent? Like, is, it, is that the opposite of blood or something? Holy shit, this was the second time he tried to do this? What? How did no one try and stop him on this? Like, his family had to know he was doing this. No one said like, hey, uh, you know, it's not gonna work again. Why bother? You know, just please stop. So the Coast Guard's still calling about last time. This guy got fined $40,000 for this. Jesus. And he's quoted here, I don't know what to do. Ooh. I don't want to fight with the Coast Guard. I want peace. I'm a lover, not a fighter. He later says, I want to find a lawyer to help me. Oof, but you're fucked. You are so fucked. Okay, I think this is pretty solid A territory here. Like this guy, like this fact that he did it for a second time, like, dude, you didn't learn anything from the first time. And, but I respect that he put so much work into it, but it just was a, stupid thing. So that's why it's A tier. All right, next up, we have Florida man climbs up top playground equipment at Clearwater Park, tells kids where babies come from. Ugh, woof. Okay, dude, fuck that guy. Like you just don't go telling little kids where babies come from, douchebag. All right, there's a picture here too, hold on. Oh, yo, what the fuck? This guy looks like he's literally looking into my soul right now. He looks like he's into some like demon cult shit. Do you think public schools heard about this story and were just like, oh, someone's teaching sex ed for free? That's just another department we can cut right now. This guy only got fined 118 bucks. Are you kidding me? And the guy in the bubble got fined 40K? Like, I'm not saying the guy in the bubble should get less. I think this guy should just get more. I mean, let's just be honest. If you got your sex education from this guy, you just wouldn't be into sex. Like that's just straight up. Like sex addicts should go see this guy and hear about how babies are made and they'll be like, oh yeah, you know, that doesn't really sound like me. Maybe I'll pick up gambling now. Okay, honestly, like this is not the type of Florida man I want to encourage. Like this is just goes against what he, the Florida man stands for, I feel like. So this is going in F tier. Okay, let's go to the next one. Florida man arrested for illegal ride on manatee. I do like that Florida had to make this a law because it was that big of a problem. The Florida Congress was just super worried about all those spring breakers riding manatees. Maybe this Florida man is the same guy that was trying to get to Hooters. He just was using a manatee to get there for free. Okay, this is sort of low stakes Florida man stuff. So I'm gonna put this on C tier. Florida man admits to killing goat and drinking its blood for pagan sacrifice. Would still like to be Senator. This is peak Florida man right here. Like, I, I need to go call my grandparents about this immediately, like, wow. And of course he's in politics too, you know? Like, that's where you find the best Florida men. This guy claims this whole act wasn't sadistic. Oh, buddy, do you know what that word means? He's got a quote here too. I did sacrifice a goat. I know that's probably a quibble in the mind of most Americans. A quibble? You think this is just a quibble? I would put this at least as a concern. Oh, and he's a white nationalist too, so of course he is. 
All right, you guys know where this is going. S tier, definitely my favorite story of the day. And that's where I'm ending this. I'm ending it on a high note, like, oh wow. What, what an adventure this has been. Look at this list. Like, look at all the memories we just had. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Florida people, you guys really outdid yourself here. I'm proud. All right, guys, as always, if you like what you see, you know what to do. Do all the YouTube-y things, and I will catch you on the flippity flop.